god, fuck my life. So I've gotten a shit ton of comments about how do I get my cursor so smooth. Oh my god. The quick answer, frame rate, render settings, frame blending. Long answer. There we go. If you're recording in OBS and you have a nice PC that can handle all this, ba -ba -da -ba -da, just copy this. If you don't, um, you can turn this level down. You can turn it down to like 12, 10, 8, 9. Um, I'm not going to be the person to explain this to you. Um, but essentially, you just set these to lower. So low latency performance or just baseline. Here's the important stuff right here. Uh, your numerator and your denominator. 480 FPS is a lot for a PC to handle and my PC just kind of like dies. Um, you can turn these down to anything divisible by 4. So like 120, 240. Um, it doesn't have to be divisible by 4. Like you can set it to 150, 70, whatever you're choosing. Uh, but anything like along the lines of 120, uh, or 240 will do the trick generally anything above 60 because we're going to be sampling this down to 60 fps anyways uh i'm in a little bit of a sticky situation because i transferred from vegas recently to premiere however i found a little workaround of this to get essentially if not better the same settings so for vegas essentially what we are doing is we are just enabling resample uh which is like the equivalent to blending in premiere uh, there are three different types of sampling that you can use, or time interpolation, whatever you want to call it. In the description, there is a video describing the difference between all of them, but all you need to know right now is that we're using frame blending, not anything else. Set it to 240 megabits per second. Uh, make sure the frame rate is turned down to 60 FPS. Uh, it should just go down automatically. You can copy all these. Um, it was really applicable to Premiere. So once you have all these settings down, you should just be able to click render, and your video will look very smooth. Uh, if that doesn't do it for you, you probably fucked something up, so go watch it again. Alright, next to what I use now in Premiere. Essentially what you have to do when you go into sequence settings, you are going to have whatever frame rate you are recording at. So in my case, it was 480 FPS. However, I went in here and I put it down to 59.94 FPS, or you can just put it at 60. Uh, next, then you right click on your track and go to frame blending. Uh, I do this like when you import everything and just do it for each clip. It makes it a lot more convenient than selecting like 800 different little tiny fucking clips. Next, when you have everything all done and edited, you go into your render settings. And you are just going to want to copy my settings. And I'm way too lazy to explain anything that's going on. Uh, the last thing you need to do is use maximum render quality. Uh, you don't have to do this, it's like preference. Then you need to set your time interpolation at frame blending. And then you should be done for the most part. So here are both of them side by side. Yeah, it is really simple. Um, I hope you like my background because I do. Uh, if you don't haven't watched this episode of Boruto yet, go fuck yourself. Um, <laughs> But no, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.